The person who gave me a new definition of love. In my entire life, I thought I was supposed to try so very hard to have someone love me endlessly, and he does it with no effort. I call him my sunshine because he does. He brings me so much joy. He, I don't even, that's what he is. He's the sunshine in my life. He saved me from a very dark place in life, and I couldn't imagine being with anybody else at this point. He is one of the most hardworking men that I've ever known that is not anybody family. He does everything that he can to make sure that I am taken care of, that I am supported through school, through finding my first job, through buying our house. He has supported me every step of the way. He is so caring. He does the little things. He writes me handwritten notes when I go to work and he slips them in my lunchbox. And every now and then, it's like once a week, he'll bring me flowers and He'll do laundry and he just, when I'm working long stretches, it's hard because we don't really see each other. But he makes me feel like I am loved and I am seen. And I just, he gives me the chills just thinking about, like how was I so lucky to end up with somebody like him? I never thought that I would be doing this here. I wouldn't be here without him. 
He is my best friend. When tomorrow comes, I'm really not nervous. I don't feel scared. I don't feel like, oh my God, what if this goes wrong? Like, what if this isn't the choice I need to be making in life? I have never been so sure on a decision in my entire life that I want to marry him and I want to be his wife. I want him, I want to grow with him. I want to, we have a plan. We want to buy land, build a house, have four or five kids and I'm not nervous. I'm the most excited I think I've ever been in my entire life. And it's, people say it's gonna be different being married, but I think it will be, but we've been together for so long. We've lived together for so long. We have been through so many things in life that it's only gonna get better. And I just, I'm so excited. I'm not nervous. There's, it's good butterflies. So. She puts a whole new meaning of hard working, you know, to a whole new level of it. And it's definitely rubbed off on me. And she's helped me climb through a lot of trenches up until this point. And she's become my best friend in every single way. And, you know, in life and in death and sickness and everything. She's 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 perfect. She's the definition of it. She's she's made me turn into such a way of being a better person than most people like to perceive themselves as and invoke discipline and she she's just a super strong woman and I couldn't ask for somebody better in my life to be a forever companion for I I love her to death she's my best friend and she's a flower that's all bloomed throughout the whole year she doesn't go away she's always there for me she's always nice to look at usually smells good too most of the time. Some of my favorite qualities about Alexis are her is her determination at life, being successful and wanting to have that dream that everyone everybody wants you know when starting you know after a marriage you want to start a family you want to finish life together you want to you know win the game together and she has that determination that I've never seen in any other woman in my life and it's it's a godsend message to me too you know I, I said it's like I could see her determination in her face and when she speaks when she does the things she does whether it's cleaning the house going to work or late at night she, she's, she's a bad woman. She's, she's, a, she's out of a lot of women's leagues whenever it comes to that determination quality. She's beautiful. She's got the most beautiful blue eyes, like an angel. Tomorrow's definitely been a day that I have been looking so hard for and working so hard towards, you know, almost my whole life, it's always been my dream to find my best friend in life and marry her and finish life with her. I'm definitely a little nervous. The nervous, I think, just came along with the application of it, you know, and uh, it's a good nervous. I'm, I'm overwhelmed with the excitement and joy. Uh, 
you know, it's, it's, it's an excitement I've never felt before. You know, I'm gonna have everybody I love. You know, everybody's gonna be there and seeing, you know, yeah, you know, Gabe and Lexi, they did it. You know, it'll just be, it'll be a moment to really soak in. So, it's just something that I've always looked forward to. It's just a,
we're gathered here today to witness and celebrate the marriage of Gabriel and Alexis. This is not the beginning of a new relationship, but an acknowledgement of the next chapter in their lives together. They have spent years getting to know one another, and now we bear witness to what their relationship has become. Today, they will affirm that bond formally and publicly. Alexis and Gabriel will mark their transition as a couple, not only by celebrating the love between themselves, but also by celebrating the love between all of us, including the love of their parents and their grandparents and their extended family and siblings and friends. Without your presence, today would be far less joyous because it's not by random choice that each of you were invited here today. See, each of you have played a part in the lives of Gabriel and Alexis, either individually or as a couple. this woman in marriage. On behalf of the U.S. we are honored to give Alexis to you. Thank you. Gabriel and Alexis have chosen two verses uh, from the Bible for me to read today, and they pray that these verses will be the foundation of their marriage. Ephesians 4.2 says, Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. And 1 Peter 4.8, Above all, love each other deeply, because love overlooks unkindness and unselfishly seeks the best for others. At this time, Gabriel and Alexis will make a declaration of intent. Gabriel, do you take Alexis to be your wife? I do. Please repeat after me. I promise to cherish you always. I promise to cherish you always. To honor and sustain you. To honor and sustain you. In sickness and in health. Sickness and through health in poverty and in wealth. In poverty and through wealth. And to be true to you in all things. Be true to you in all things. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Alexis, do you take Gabriel to be your husband? I do. Please repeat after me. I promise to cherish you always. I promise to cherish you always to honor and sustain you. To honor and sustain you. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In poverty and in wealth. In poverty and in wealth. And to be true to you in all things. And be true to you in all things. All the days of my life. In all the days of my life. Uh, wedding rings have been a long tradition. I think it goes back about 3,000 years to the Romans when they presented their wives with an iron ring. And she presented him with uh, a ball and chain. No, I'm kidding. It's <laughs> not right. <laughs> but I think that's where that comes from. Uh, we, we, uh, you'll, you'll notice that the rings are round and they symbolize love for eternity because they have no beginning and no ending. So you have, you have loved one another prior to the day. You will love one another after we're all gone because your love lasts forever, for infinity. We wear our rings for several reasons. 
One is it publicly shows that you are in a committed relationship. So it takes you off the market. Secondly, it's a sign of respect to your partner that your actions reflect on both of you. So you're no longer a single person. So anything that you do reflects on the other. And thirdly, it sets an example for your future children. They'll be able to know and see your relationship and know a healthy relationship. Alexis, may this beautiful ring symbolize the purity and never ending love you have for one another. You should wear it always as an outward demonstration to the world that you are one. Would you place that on her finger, repeating after me, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. With the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, and forever. With the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, and forever. Gabriel, May this handsome ring symbolize the purity and never-ending love you have for one another. You should wear it always as an outward demonstration to the world that you are one. Would you place it on his finger, repeating after me, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. With the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, and forever. With the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, and forever. At this time, I understand that what we're going to move over here to the Unity candle, Unity sand. Okay. Stay right there. What just took place just now, Gabriel and Alexis have uh, created a unity um, box of sand that they will uh, display somewhere prominently in their home with their wedding, marriage license and pictures of today, along with their photo album. Right? Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alexis, Gabriel, you have united two families and two sets of friends. I ask them now to promise that they will continue to support you, support your marriage with joy, love, and optimism. All those who wish to promise their support, please signify by saying, I do. With the blessing of everyone here who is present today, I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Gabriel Waldrop. You may now kiss your bride. Woo! <laughs> 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 That's a wrap, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think so. Let's get it.
12 ounces A good truck's got maybe 300,000 You only get so much until it's gone Duracells and a mag light A needle drop on a 45 Are the kind of things that only last so long When the new wears off and they get to getting old Time's gonna take its toll They say nothing lasts forever But they ain't seen us together Or the way the moonlight dances in your eyes Just a t-shirt in the kitchen With no makeup and a million other things That I could look at my After years of shift work All fading out like I always knew they would The strings on this guitar The first love lost on a young heart Those things are gonna break after the getting's good Cause the new wears off and they get to getting old Thank you. 